Hello friends, welcome back to Student Blog. In this uh, series of uh, VMware Horizon uh, training sessions, we'll be looking at one of the issue which I observed uh, when I tried to delete uh, one of the floating pool, uh, desktop pool. What happened was uh, it stuck up at a deleting state. So we'll be looking at uh, how to troubleshoot that in this video. So this is somewhat uh, related to troubleshooting. So let's let's jump on. So before that, uh, this is the screen. So I took it from uh, from Google uh, for this uh, for this uh, to show you guys. Like uh, when you try to delete a pool, uh, it's it will be showing as deleting and stuck up here. So thanks to the VMware expert, uh, the guy who shared this uh, screenshots. So uh, for this, we need to clean up the the only option to clean up. Uh, uh, Adam database for uh, VDI. So once you delete the uh, clean up the Adam database, uh, you'll be seeing the deleted uh, like pool pool gets deleted from the uh, desktop pools. So let's go to lab quickly and uh, let's see uh, let's see the steps. So this is my connection server. Uh, like CSO one is my connection server. So here you are able to see I have one desktop pool so it is not in deleting state but if it is in delete considering like we will just imagine that uh, it stuck up at deleting state and uh, what is that we are going to do to clean up this uh, if it is in deleting state. So before doing that make sure to uh, make sure to uh, like uh, disable the provisioning like uh, like you need to disable the desktop uh, desktop pool you need to disable the provisioning and also make sure to take the snapshot of your uh, all cs servers uh, vcenter uh, because uh, just for just in case if something goes wrong so it there should not be any problem when you do this but uh, just for safer side if it is production uh, you just make sure to take the snapshots and also make sure to take the backup of uh, uh, like a VDM like a VDA database uh, like running the command uh, uh, like I shown this in my previous video so just you need to run the VDM export.exe uh, uh, VDM config.ldf so doing that uh, you'll be creating the backup of the uh, of the local database for uh, VDI so it's already the state for this is already disabled for provisioning as well as a uh, pool so we are good so now what we'll do is like uh, we'll go to go to start run mmc then go to file and add uh, remove snap in and add ads edit so we need to do the cleanup of, our, of the database uh, going to the ads edit so here you need to right click on uh, uh, ADS I can uh, edit and uh, connect to the connect to and here we need to give the default uh, like a uh, name for the VD, uh, database so that is uh, like a view view ADM database and uh, select this one connection point is uh, DC is equal to VDI, DC is equal to VMware, DC is equal to INT. So it will connect to the internal database. We are not going to connect to our Active Directory database. Uh, this will be our internal database and uh, you need to select the computer as local host so that it will connect to our uh, CS server local database. So make sure that you log into CS server and uh, go to run and uh, add the add the uh, like go to run and uh, open the MMC and uh, just uh, connect to ADSI edit and uh, like uh, just connect to the VMware uh, view local database uh, this is the default steps uh, so once you click OK hold on something is wrong so let me check Adam database L okay LDAP local host D 
this is equal to VDI this is equal to VMware this is equal to INT let me try this is equal to V VDI this is equal to VMware this is equal to INT okay now it's connected maybe something wrong maybe some spelling wrong so now if you see here we are connected to our local database and uh, here we need to expand this one once you expand this you will be going to the server group so here <coughs> whatever the pools you have created uh, that will be listed here so in our uh, in our scenario this is a uh, just a lab and I just created one pool for testing so if it is a production you will be able to see multiple pools so make sure you are selecting the right pool so here uh, uh, vpool is the name so if you see here vpool is the ID so make sure you are selecting the right pool and select it and right click and delete so it will ask for confirmation once you click yes the pool will be deleted so now it's gone so next is like uh, we'll go to application and here also we'll check vpool is the pool so which we just deleted from the server group we need to delete from here too so uh, vpool right click and then select delete so we have deleted that also so now it's done so once this is done we are good so just refresh make sure it is gone from here and applications so everything looks fine just close this one no need to save this one so we need to restart the service uh, but we'll refresh it and see <laughs> now it's gone so in production better to restart the service uh, uh, if uh, so normally it, uh, it doesn't require but uh, yeah you can see here the pool is gone now so this is how we need to fix it if it is uh, uh, while uh, clean up uh, when it's stuck up in the deleting state we need to go go to the uh, EDS edit and we need to do the cleanup so <coughs> I hope uh, this in this this is uh, somewhat informative for you guys and uh, please do subscribe thanks for watching and uh, do like my videos thank you bye bye